Sheree? Thanks, Ashley. The Lexington Reservoir is considered critically low. In fact, where I'm standing right now should be underwater. That's just one of the many reasons that Governor Jerry Brown is restricting people's water use. But not everyone has to play by those rules. And that next stop is the U.S. Senate. Once everyone agrees, the process can begin to rename the tunnel after the late actor. It's currently not on the Senate schedule, but thousands are hoping that that will change soon. Live from the Golden Gate Bridge, I'm Sheree Honeycutt for State of Events. The doctor says the worst time for pets is in the spring through the fall, and that's because the plants turn from a green color to brown. They become more coarse and dangerous. They break apart very easily. The doctor says with California's extreme drought, she only expects to see more and more foxtail injuries this year. With hundreds of wishes every year, Vanessa says there's no way for them all to come true, but it gives people an opportunity to share their hopes for the future. With less than 10% of book sales being physical books, the prelingers say that ebooks have an important place in media. However, there's something special about holding a real book. After the woman fell for the scam, they went around to several banks just like this one, withdrawing thousands of dollars from her own life savings. And when she gave the money over to them, they took off with it and she was left with nothing. Coming up on State of Events, I'll show you why I'm dancing with a robot. <laughs> Napa officials say that Napa Valley has sustained $1 billion in damages. This tasting room is just one drop in the barrel. I'm Sheree Honeycutt for NBC News. A woman was driving down Lake Street when her car hit a piece of cracked asphalt just like this one. And then everything crumbled in, almost to the size of some San Francisco apartments. It just wasn't fair and no one was doing anything about it. Sophia Ruiz is 15 years old and just a sophomore at Miramonte High School in Orinda. In January, she made a bold move to expose an online database sharing naked photos of young women and underage girls. She wrote an article for her school's online newspaper entitled La Mirinda Nudes Dropbox Must Come Down. And thanks to her article, it did. This is Dropbox. The site allows users to share information through the cloud. As long as you have the account's information, you can share, view, and download the files with anyone, which means the reach of these photos is endless. The name of the Dropbox site was called Like Playing Cards, where local police say teenage boys were collecting and sharing the images. It was just so awful. Like, we're not as good as other people or we can just be treated like that and no one's going to do anything about it. Ruiz says some were photos sent to the boys and some were taken by the boys themselves. Two girls were identified as Moraga residents but chose not to press charges. Orinda police say the photos are now in the hands of the Center for Missing and Exploited Children. They want to make sure that the photos can't be tied to any of their cases. Sophia says taking down this site is just part of a bigger issue. And that's not okay, and that's something that needs to change because it's not just our community, it's all over the world. Women are like objectified and seen as inferior, and people think they can do this without repercussions, and that's not okay. In Arinda, Sheree Honeycutt for State of Events. I'm here at Mindy Lim's vocal studio here in San Francisco, somewhere that's no surprise you would find a piano. But earlier this week, I happened to find one in quite a peculiar place. The sounds in a park are the ones that you come to expect, but sometimes they can be music to your ears. I think this is an excellent thing. Yeah, it's, it's fun to add to the ambiance of the park. This piano in Vesona Park in Los Gatos is one of four in Santa Clara County Parks. The Sunset Piano Project plans to put 12 pianos along the peninsula. But the cost of music isn't cheap. It took raising over $27,000 on Kickstarter just to put these four pianos in these four parks. I met its creator at one of their events. His goal is to keep music alive. So we not only wanted to give these pianos a second life, but put them out there so anybody could play them and, and, and discover how beautiful an instrument is. It's a surprise, unlike what you'd normally see. I see ducks and geese and um, trees and birds, and never until today a piano. <laughs> Ta da! Sunset Piano is still working to get eight pianos out on the peninsula. And after that, well, they tell me they've got their eye on the Great Wall of China. In San Francisco, I'm Sheree Honeycutt for State of Events. Back to you in the studio.